We're playing Alan Wake. Alan Wake? On easy? Because I've fuck been it. Of easy. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic. He also once wrote, wrote The Mist. The that was a mistake. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why. But there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. <laughs> That's nice. I, I like how epic that was for, like, I'm a writer. It's just like, the, the job where you sit around pretending to, like... <laughs> pretending to have a job. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I do. This <laughs> dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. It began with a dream. It began. That's Following the first a typical I nightmare, pattern, <laughs> I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination. This is very Stephen King house. For some urgent reason, I couldn't yeah. remember. Like being I'd out been in the middle of the woods, too fast down a coastal road to get there. Some writer. Some ass writer. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was a stupid hitchhiker anyways. Yeah, what kind of hitchhiker gets stands in the middle of the road without a bulletproof vest on to stop cars? Sorry, <laughs> a car proof I was vest. convinced they put me in jail yeah. and I would never see Alice again. <gasps> oh no. My car battery died just now for no reason. That was the first time my car battery died. <laughs> <laughs> But it wouldn't be the last. Suddenly, his body was gone. Suddenly, all the files were gone. Episode one: The Phantom crash. Menace. I could hardly stand my feet. Is he gonna narrate himself the whole time he walks around and does stuff? Because he's a writer. No. <laughs> what did it say? <laughs> Reverse. I'll reverse the the, the okay fucking In, controls. The, yeah. All right. Get to the lighthouse. I'll get to the lighthouse. This is this weirdly. Uh, have to find a oh yeah, I found a coffee thermos. I almost I almost read that as thermos. If you get a hundred, something great happens. <laughs> <laughs> if you hoard them. <laughs> see see now now that that mechanic where you like collect like the stuff makes me feel like. They're just trying to get you to, like, be more green. Just, alright, we've got a lot of fucking shitty coffee mugs around. Just get, like, 50 of them and we'll give you, like, a bonus pretzel or something. I don't know. Ah, uh. uh, that guy got the bonus pretzel. Ah, uh, ah! Uh. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God. Oh! You think you can just make up stuff? Yeah. You know, it's funny that he says that whole thing, like, like writers think you're God. Like, my writing instructor would say that. Like, he would compare writers to being, like, gods and everyone else is mere mortals because we create worlds. And I was like, alright, alright, dude. Be realistic here. We're sitting in a dark, dank-ass room, eating Cheetos and smearing it all over our butt. And then going ahead and writing, alright, then the car started to talk. <laughs> Dodge the attack. This is a really stupid tutorial. Oh, I did not dodge the attack. It's an alright tutorial. I mean, you're just doing pretty shitty, but... Oh, that's... Oh, that's alright. I blew that bridge to hell! Alright, I guess I'll get inside quick. Yeah, I'm getting, yeah. I'm getting inside. You might need some help. You might want to stay out here. Yeah, do you, do you want any help? <laughs> do you, though? I want any help, though. Nah, I better go and solve some magic. I like how the game is trying really hard to just make you, like, the tree went down. Oh, no. you can actually fail? Oh, no, you just go inside. We know you don't got letters on your jacket. Maybe. Maybe inside on the tag. Maybe he escapes letters. Was an eyeball on the TV? Was he just watching the eyeball network? All eyeballs all the time? I like the, the, the sexy eyebrow action there. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Dodge that television channel. <laughs> it's oh. another one. Oh, they're all. Oh. This is like the outer limits. The cabin was a death trap. I had to get out. I have to 
get out? How do I get out? That poster said. Didn't see it. Oh, it's something the moose head sings. Ouch. Like Evil Dead the musical. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can so, the darkness away and make him Oh, you know what'd be cool? Again. If like this game had a crossover with the game The Darkness. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. He's he's sitting there and letting you do it. That's cool. Oh, and then they become normal again? The darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Alright, mysterious light, tell me to murder people. I know they're trying to kill me, but wow. Oh, that was gonna be like, just purify them. It's like, no. You remove the darkness, and then you shoot them in the face. Damn. That was cold. Good. You've done well. <laughs> Good job! That is all. I will give you a god bonus. Just like. So are these all the same bum you ran over? Like, you ran over like 70 bums on the way here? <laughs> Probably. Like, okay, now. <laughs> Yeah, okay. would explain what's happening. Because, like, they're the same... I, I understand it's a video game and you, like, introduce, like, one enemy and your way of introducing it's a really cool way. Like, oh, yeah, you killed this guy. He's mad at you. He wants revenge! And you're like, all right, well, that's a cool thing to do. I can keep this up. It'd be funny if No, he hit me during a cutscene. That's not fair. If you ran over 70 people and only the last one made your car break down. So, so you're, you're a writer and therefore drunk, so you're driving around drunk. Oh, God, no. And you just decided... You know what? I'm just gonna lean back and put on cruise control because cruise control, you don't even have to drive. Cruise control is cruise control for cool. <laughs> yeah. So you just you're just mowing down hobos left and right when you get here. And that last one's when you kind of like sober up and you're like, oh god, what have I done? I think I may have run over a man yeah. <laughs> or possibly seventy. This is just me wrestling with minor demons. Yeah. That's what's happening. <laughs> I'm shining my flashlight on minor demons, and then I'm shooting them with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Anaconda malt liquor gives you a little dick. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am on my way to Brighton. Welcome to. That's a good name. Yeah, that means this when, place is going to be safe as have, hell. Do you know there's a, there's a place actually there's actually a place that exists um, in Washington called. Uh, like, like Washington State, called the Cape of Depression. Hmm. Oh, really? And it has the highest suicide rate ever because it's always foggy like this place. Oh. Like, it's so depressing being there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest Push that old guy overboard. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that? I can't. Huh? You say beer fest or deer fest? I don't know. Because <laughs> one, one of them could be really exciting and the other could just be... Um... It's, it's worth noting that, uh, <laughs> like, my move cycle is really skittish right now. And for the rest of the game, my move cycle is going to be, like, fine. It's going to be perfect. I'm going to look nervous because I'm going to be, you know, in a supernatural hellhole. But right now, I'm just talking to this guy. I'm like, oh, shit. Also, this motion blur on his face. Yeah. Like, when you turn around him with a... I, I really like modern games for the ability to do this now, where, like, you know, you'll have... It, like, dude telling you about the place, and then you can just spin around in circles like a freaking idiot. <laughs> yeah. Like, you just, somebody just sat there and was like, hey, Junior, you want to have all the lollipops? Yay, sugar! Yay! <laughs> I went and got actors, and then told them to pretend to be this thing I came up with while I was super Are we still drunk. moving? Nope. I don't, think we're still I don't think you're moving anymore. What am I supposed to do? The game doesn't even tell me anything. <laughs> 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 it's the Alan Wake order. New World Order or whatever. Who made this game? Like, what's the... Oh, fuck, I don't actually know. Uh, this is... Uh, I want to say it's... Uh, fucking... It? That was a lie. Doesn't sound right at all. <laughs> that was... That was a lie. That was a lie. It was Budcat. 
I don't know. Okay, and you <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing up everywhere. <laughs> oh! That's bleed. Oh! Come on, oh, Slope. oh. This guy's probably just a hunter. Or it's just cranberry juice. It's definitely just... Because when I've been hunting, I you just thought, you know you just bring a big gallon of cranberry juice? Yeah, actually. I am both an avid hunter and an avid cranberry juice drinker. Hell oh my god, he's standing in the stupid writer pose with your book. Yeah. Oh, also, that's god. me. Yeah. It's me standing oh, yeah, in the writer pose with my book. So do you play as Stephen King dealing with his own fame in a horror movie written by I think Stephen that, King? That would be fucking... <laughs> that, no, that would be amazing. If that's what this was. Just like, I am, like, the closest they could make a character to Stephen King without, like, naming the character Stephen King. And I just go and I'd be in a Stephen King book. Just go hang out with a guy who... If you talk with him long enough, just wonder, then maybe he does want to kill people. <laughs> hey, Sheriff Stupid, get out of the way. That's my chair. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? Call the police? Yeah. 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 He just pops a leg off right after he says that. <laughs> See, that's like an old man joke that's like... Man, he's maimed for life, but he's still got that great spirit. I've died and gone to hell. Oh. Hey, I found a coffee thermos. <laughs> I want to, like, have my own pantheon of gods, and one of them be called Thermos. And he is the only god who create, who, like, governs temperature. <laughs> he's kind of shaped like a mug. No, he should just be the god of hot soup. <laughs> Pardon me, is there anybody in here? Please let there be somebody in here. I'm looking for a casual encounter. Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. See, there's like no reason why you would do this, but like, whenever a creepy person comes up to you and like hands you off a message to like go to the creepy Holden place, Lake is a special burn it. Place. No, 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 no. Here's what I always wanted to do. Like, the second they're like about to disappear, like while they're talking, just fucking grab them. To see if it works. Yeah. See if you can just hold them down and be like, Stop being supernatural! <laughs> Bad! Stop being su- Stop! Hey! <laughs> no! And then they're just like, Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you all of our I'm evil plans then. I'm a you, writer. Do you, have, do you have like a tick or something? <laughs> like, no, I'm just a writer. <laughs> I have a special way of walking. <laughs> this is how all writers walk. Four, like, four steps and a swivel. <laughs> you gotta swivel every time to keep them off balance. That's, that's called the Shyamalan twist. Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Not since the last book that I released, which was insanely popular. Because yeah. I'm a writer. Yeah. Cause I am a writer. If you're a writer, fuck you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, writers, please. They're actually super important. Like, like, like to be honest, out of all the jobs to like hyper glorify, at least they picked one that doesn't get glorified. Really? I mean, like, what? There's like Joss Whedon. Like, how many writers? I'm gonna go to Diver's Isle. Don't worry. Oh, there's one. I'll get you inside yeah, since the sound before it's dark. Jump now, at least. I know. But I can't okay. jump into the water. I like how you're like desperately trying to crack this game wide open. <laughs> <laughs> like you're trying to make this the oblivion of video games. <laughs> I thought oblivion was the oblivion of video games. No, Morrowind is the oblivion of video games. <laughs> okay. I'll look around. You know what that's code the for. Had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that. Oh wow, the cutscene cut off the cutscene. It was a beautiful place. Also, there's another thing that I learned about writing, like especially screenplays. 
is to I never my work. like try to avoid narration and characters having like inner soliloquies I'm like this at here. all costs. Yeah. <laughs> because it can get really boring and hyper annoying. Like I'm not like this game's a good game. Like I know I've heard it's good. And it looks like I mean, how does it control, Nathan? Like, how is it? It controls fine. Like, yeah, I mean, like it's, it's a fun, that I've done so it's a fun far. game. It's cool, but I'm just saying, like, that was the first thing I learned in writing number one: is never have a flashback within a flashback. Oh. Seriously, that was the first thing. Wow. <laughs> that, and try as hard as you can to keep your characters from blabbing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want to point out that I'm gonna open this door with my wrist. Oh, I'm not even gonna open the door at all. It's just going to spring open in front so of me. Yeah. Second starts. All the lights were out. Go save your girlfriend. All the lights were out. Oh Ooh. shit! That's cool. Spook venture. Spook venture. <laughs> it's a spooktacular spook venture. Mario. Mario. They should make a game called Wario's Mansion. <laughs> where. Uh, <laughs> Alice? Well, you get the point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where it's something really gross. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, no. Guess I'm gonna have to jump! Oh, I love Homestar Runner. <laughs> you know, they have a video game. Yeah. Strong Bad to track against cool people. Yep. Alice? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I wait, go on. Up in the crash car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I wake up, wake in, up the in the morning feeling like. Uh, one thing I'll say for this game though is it's kind of cool how they've got the uh, the thing with the light, right? Like it's like like it's a story mechanic, but it's also a gameplay mechanic. At least in a tour. Yeah, it that's was. cool. That's that's cool. Like oh. Oh, you actually went out of your way to get electrocuted just now. Like, I thought I saw something like, cause like pit items you can pick up. Yeah, kind of yeah. Flash. Yeah. I thought I saw that up in the tree, so I'm like, no, oh, I'll try to climb it was up just there. sparking it was just bare <laughs> wire. <laughs> yep. I don't think you can go down there. I don't want to go that way. I I don't think it's gonna end well. I mean, this isn't Cabela's. Is it it, just, is God. This God is that are you? you? God, are you there? It's me, Alan Wake. I'm a writer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you think you're God? No, 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 no. We're both gods. The loose sheets of paper were pages. <laughs> you're a writer. I'm a writer. <laughs> it's all good. For the next novel, I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was. So I got sucked into my own murder in the woods at night. That's cool. That's Spoiler. That, that's a cool story. But, it, but, like, after having gone to a film school, I, it feels like the most pretentious, like, thing ever. It's a very digital swordsman thing to do. <laughs> I actually read a book where the author put himself in the story. It was awful. Yeah. That's not good. There's fan... Every fanfic has that. What? The thing is, is the book was awful. So then, him and the is... aspect itself was awful. But the movie made by Uwe Boll was great. Yeah. <laughs> if there's, if there's not a self insert, there's at least going to be a Mary Sue. The thing is, that book was also made into a movie. I haven't read. Well, it's like the it. thing, like the convention with like being a writer. Like, why add, if you're writing your own story, why add yourself into the story when like the main character is like, even when you don't notice it, like you've got to realize that some degree is a little bit of you. What if it's not? Well, then. What if that's I weird. wrote a book and I named the main character not Nathan at all? <laughs> <laughs> what then, Mr. Smart would... Guy? Well, maybe. That, well, then. Mr. Writing Knower? Shut Think up, you're miss. You're so much better than me. Stop putting me under scrutiny. It's really hard for writers <laughs> to be put under scrutiny. <laughs> <laughs> this game, like, way back in the 90s, there was a penny or two comic about it. Where the guy said that his Girl. game was not for critics. To beat you, non-reputation has required. I like how we said non-refundable. By the way, that's awesome. Yeah. Non-refundable. 
fair and square. That is pretty fair and square. Yeah. Also, I'm actually getting a little scared. Not very scared. Just kind of... Well, I mean, this fucking forklift is terrifying. Looks like it's going to snap right at you. Premium cabins. Is he trying to sell you shit? <laughs> I in think this so. Spooky environment. He's like, he's like the fucking most terrifying. That would be the coolest thing for a comedy bit ever. Actually, it's just <laughs> like it's a monster, except it's not a monster. It's just a salesman. So it's a monster. <laughs> you know who else fails to arrive? You lose. Shit. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very, like, here's Johnny's kind of enemy. Also, just the way he speaks to you. Yeah, like Jack from The Shining, I was gonna point yep. that out. You know, if he hadn't pointed that out, I was just gonna say, like, this this place... Sponsored by Energizer? Yeah, sponsored by Energizer. Actually? Also totally sponsored by, uh, by an axe company. Yeah. Because, oh, oh my god. axe? Yeah. yeah. Axe Axe sponsored by Axe. Axe Body Spray. We also make real axes. So <laughs> like, on the axe, it's like it's like got the logo on the like head of the axe, and it just says, "We also make real axes." <laughs> yeah. Just so you know. During your I love the idea of like this guy like who's supposed to be helping you like. Go on like a ski trip or like a resort vacation or like help you find your cabin, but he's like the devil. Yeah. So like he's just like, we'll help you. He's like, if you want to have breakfast in the morning, I can set an alarm. Twenty dollar service fee. Extra pancakes will be fifty cents. Oh, dude. We will leave you a bottle of water, but if you drink it, that will cost you. Oh man, I hate that shit. That is that is like the evilest thing that they do at like hotels. Holy oh shit! Oh my god, that lifted right off the fucking foundation. Well, now aren't you glad you got out of there though? Yes. Mm. I mean, no. No. Yeah. No. Oh. A real well, guest well, would well, go down with the ship. I look at the doors open for you. Like, why don't you come in, sir? Have a seat. Oh. Look at them! Look at them with the light! I and see then shoot them! Shoot them with the gun! Now you're using your gun. <laughs> now you're thinking with gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's the lady with the mesh face. She had one of those, uh, those veils, like a uh, morning that? veil, whatever you call those. Yeah. She had a morning veil, not a morning glory. Yeah. Or a glory hole. Oh. In the morning. <laughs> Something so the, that's like the worst thing ever is to get up in the morning and be like, oh, better go to the old glory hole. <laughs> it's goofy the... using it. But <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the horror that I was imagining. <laughs> <laughs> goofy goes in the bathroom and it's like, you just hear, <laughs> like that oh. loud fucking goofy scream. Uh. God. In, okay. <laughs> in the reverberance of a bathroom. <laughs> so it's like I can't oh. stop thinking about it. <laughs> I wish. Oops. <laughs> because I am a writer and he is an he is an animator. That's how we did it. It's very safe of them to keep revolver ammo in these boxes. Yeah. Why do they have revolvers out here? Why not like guns that will kill bears? Because there are bears. Yeah. I mean, like I can see them not being like prepared for shadow monsters. But maybe, maybe the shadow monster thing is something that happens regularly out here. It's worse. It's like a bigger invitation than bears. Actually, it probably is because bears aren't really that likely to happen. Ah! Unless you've got hot dog breath. Bears love hot dog breath. Do they? Yeah. As you know, I married a bear. No one's gonna question the fact that I said I married a bear. Oh, okay. Right. In the future, we'll use ripcord technology. 
ripcord rhinoplasty. <laughs> what? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> what? You heard me. You may not have understood me, but you heard me. I am... S oh! Whoa! <laughs> This blew my mind. Ripcord rhinoplasty. <laughs> sounds like a really '90s like. Sounds like a Maverick. Yeah. Max. Yeah, it does. Ripcord rhinoplasty. <laughs> it's like a rhino with like a big human nose, and it's got like a ripcord that like makes the nose like go. <gasps> I made it. I made the jam. <laughs> Sounded strenuous. Yep. It, it strained me to press the A button. Is he going to start monologuing? Because I was going to start just making up monologues for him. While he's not monologuing. It's like, I stood into the light. It slowly made me feel a little better. I turned on the radio and I heard someone speaking to me. They were saying the words, Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, comma, and what a night, exclamation point. I capitalized. <laughs> yes. I realized I was standing in front of a mirror. And then I realized I was standing in front of a mirror. And then I realized I was standing in front of a mirror. I feel like this would be great in like freaking like low harmony. So it sounds like just like thousands of you. Eyeball. <laughs> Probably. Oh no. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. This guy's got a cool fucking voice. Sagan, billions and billions of years ago. Billions and billions of billions of points of light. Are you gonna listen to the whole thing? No. Cause he like brought up Carl Sagan and I was just like, ah, oh, Carl Sagan. <laughs> Shoutouts to Carl Sagan. You gotta stop being dead, brah. Shoutouts to the scientific method. <laughs> the scientific method. The scientific method. <laughs> the scientific method, man. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I oh, would. Do you remember that? That was from uh, Wu Tang the Sewer Gobbler. Oh my god, it was! Oh, the guys the that. Same made... guys who made Barkley Shut, Shut Up and Jam him. Guide You. And Anne Frank's something. Yeah, Anne Frank's something to Jag. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. They're talking bad. They're talking bad, AMC. The what talking bad? <laughs> After Breaking Bad, exactly. watch AMC's Talking Bad. Exactly, with Chris Hardwick. And they just use all of these, like, clips right here for that. <laughs> Ow. It will. Trust me. <laughs> it will. Don't get mad just because my gun kata is stronger than your lack of gun kata. God! Fucking shitting dicks. Parts <laughs> <laughs> of the gas station felt comforting. God. For a moment, the same Damn it. Asserted itself. Book it. I have to find. All right. Oh, I have to enter the gas station. Let's try to get past the this part. Was a mess. And then if it you want I've entered the gas station stage. officially. Or that there'd been some kind what of fight. Time is it? It's about two, I had about to get two. inside the gas station to find a yeah. phone to call for help. Fuck off. So they may okay, let's go in there. And get the get the deer force. Deer force. I prefer deer force. So what is it? Alright. Oh it, it need you have to outside the chimney doors. Outside the cabin. Outside the door. You came in here last time. Oh, you basically got a game over. Oh okay. I see. He's ignoring that supernatural shit in the other room. Yep. Oh, she showed up pretty fast. Also, she kind of looks like Veil Lady. Yeah. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Right, Sheriff. I don't know, she Sheriff looks kind of like the you are girl you're late listen, with. I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wade. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can the take eruption. you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen, we'll figure I'm famous. This out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake. <laughs> he just we'll pulls like a freaking. Okay? 
Uh, I'm famous. You have to pay attention to me. The guy who owns this place. His name. I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. We made it to the credits. Game over. I mean the beginning. We made it to the beginning of the game. <laughs> okay. Alan Wake. What? We're gonna say on AMC is Alan Wake. <laughs> He's gonna quit again. <laughs> and he finally Combat oriented to really be that effective as horror, I guess. Okay. But I mean, it was fun, and maybe maybe it would change further on. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I thought it was really fun to watch, and that's why a lot of times when they were talking, I wouldn't be talking because I'm just watching. Yeah. So I'm like, like into it, and then Brad's like, "Oh, you can talk." I'm like, "What?" Oh, no, I <laughs> didn't know if you were just like holding back or what. No. All right. Well, best cupcakes in Bright's Diner can suck my fucking dizzle.